Despite the strength in the Indian stock market, inflows of equity mutual funds have reached the lowest level in the last 10 months. Net investment in equity and equity-linked schemes stood at just 6,119.58 crore rupees in August, which is about 31% less than a month ago. In this way, the inflow of equity mutual funds has seen a decline for three consecutive months. Now, the question arises that despite the huge turmoil in the global market, the Indian market seems to be stable to a great extent. So, why is the inflow of equity mutual funds falling every month? So the story goes back a few months ago in May when the fear of recession prevailed everywhere. When the markets were not just at a high but an almost all-time high. Due to the fear of recession, there was a fall in the global market and with this, the Indian markets also broke down while stepping in. Due to this, the net collection of equity mutual funds has come down. Post this, the macro data of the Indian economy indicated that everything is fine in India and that India can stay firm in the midst of any kind of global recession. Omkeshwar Singh, head of Rank MF at Samco Group, says that some profit booking is now being seen at these levels and some investors have moved to debt funds due to rising interest rates. Hence, there has been a decline in the investment of equity mutual funds due to various reasons. Market experts believe that investors should be cautious for the time being as money is now moving from equity mutual funds to debt funds. This is a temporary trend due to the increase in interest rates. Debt-oriented funds saw a very impressive net flow of 49,164 crore rupees in August. Earlier in the month of July, there was a net inflow of only 4,930 crore rupees. Kavita Krishnan, Manager Research and Senior Analyst Morningstar India says that investors are investing their money in short-term debt instruments instead of long-term due to various reasons. Considering that the interest rates are going up, investors are preferring to invest their money in short-term instruments. It is believed that these can give higher returns than other traditional investment instruments like fixed deposits. Now let us see what is the contribution of SIP in the inflow of mutual funds. So in August, the contribution of SIP to the inflow of mutual funds was 12,693.45 crore rupees. The number of SIP accounts reached an all-time high of 5.71 crores in August. Now the question arises that what strategy should investors adopt in the view of all these backgrounds? Om Keshwar Singh, head of Rank MF in Samco Group, says that instead of investing in lump sum, one should invest through SIPs and STP. Now, you might have another question in your mind that for how long will this trend of declining equity mutual fund inflows continue? So the answer is that it depends on the level of the market. If the market continues to rise and a breakout occurs in the market from all the previous highs, investors will bounce back and fund inflows will increase. At current levels, investors will remain cautious in the scenario of interest rate hikes and net inflows will remain sluggish.